Well, kia ora and welcome. Uh, it's great to see you all again. In this short video, we're going to be telling you more about the course, about what's involved in it, what we're going to be delivering, um, and sort of what the stages of your learning will be throughout the course. So, Sarah. Mm, absolutely. So, we're excited to hopefully offer you this amazing course that will be really interactive. There'll be students from all around the world that you will be able to engage and learn off and with each other. We're going to be putting you into learning pods, so smaller learning pods than the bigger cohort that's going to be part of this whole course. And you'll have specific times every week to meet up and reflect and ask questions off and with one another. We're also going to have some lectures that are in real time. And so we've worked out all different time zones. People will be up in the middle of in the morning or in the evening, but we're all going to meet together at the same time. I'm not getting up in the morning, Sarah. <laughs> there is one lecture that is quite early in the morning. I might be getting <laughs> up us, in the morning. For us, for us in New Zealand. But North America, not so bad. Uh, and then there'll be other lectures that we have pre-recorded, and you will be able to watch those in your own time, um, as long as you're just watching them before you need to turn up to one of the live sessions. Mm. Yeah. So these lessons are going to be housed on Moodle. Now, I don't know if you've used Moodle before, but um, don't worry about that because we'll show you through the process. We'll, we'll, we'll shoot a video for you. We'll look after you, don't you worry about that. But Sarah, yeah. when we're looking at this course, we're looking pretty much at, at two subjects, aren't we? Yeah. The idea of biculturalism and sustainability. So uh, when you're talking about sustainability, what sort of material would you be delivering and, and what are we looking for? Yeah, exactly. So. We're going to draw a visual of how this is going to look um, and hopefully what's in our mind can go to your mind and it's all going to make sense. So we're going to be working with a model of two circles overlapping. So this is the first circle runs during the second circle and this is going to be a model or a theme that we're going to use continuously throughout the whole course. So my specialty is from the perspective of sustainability and that's where I'm going to be speaking from. Hopefully you can read this and it's not too unclear. <laughs> but it says sustainability up the top. And we're going to be spending three weeks with you online and we've broken those three weeks up into different themes where we will cover different content. I will cover content from the perspective of sustainability, Ron will cover it from the perspective of biculturalism, and then we look at where these two themes merge and start to meet in the middle, which is where these two circles start to overlap. So by the end of the course, you will have a perspective of sustainability as a standalone, biculturalism as a standalone, and then also a perspective of how they interact, merge, and form, influence one another. Mm. So Sarah, during the weeks, uh, what explicitly will you be talking about in week one, week two, and will we end up in week three? Yeah, that's right. So, uh, the first thing that we're going to be looking at in sustainability is around perspectives. So, we're looking at different definitions of sustainability, and everyone has a very different perspective of what that is. We'll look at your personal perspective, uh, your connection to place as well, as a, as a core theme that runs throughout this whole course. And yeah, also some environmental philosophy around this. So really it's an introduction to sustainability. And then we move into one of the core principles of sustainability, which is systems thinking. And that is around seeing everything as an interconnected, interrelated whole, as opposed to individual components that work on their own. So everything in this world will impact and influence one another. So that's how we work with week one. And what's really exciting is that we're doing this in a project-based way. So what we're going to invite you to do, even before you start the course, but definitely in week one, is to think about a creative project that you have already done or already created. Ron, can you share with us maybe perhaps some examples of what those projects could be? Certainly can. Um, well, I've got, I've got a special interest in food, as you'll find out in some of the videos that we're going to shoot for you. 
And what we want you to do is to identify a project. So for me, I might be identifying a dish that I've created in the past. And that dish will be uh, imbued with sustainability ethic uh, and will also be imbued with a cultural ethic. But we might not actually recognise that when we're initially making that dish or initially involved in that project. What we want you to do is identify a project coming into these conversations, something you've done in the past, a dish. If you're a design student, you might have made a chair. Um, if you're a, an architecture student, you might have designed a, a building or, or, or some such. Uh, so think about something you've done in the past, and we want you to reflect deeply on both the sustainability issues and the cultural aspect that's gone into informing that initial project. Mm, absolutely. So what you can see up here, if you can read it, fingers crossed you can, <laughs> is that at the very top we've got place. And so our connection to place uh, is really important from a sustainability point of view and also a bicultural point of view. And we may have slightly different viewpoints on how we connect to that place. So both these circles link to place is a really, really core theme that we're going to start with. Mm. Then for your assessment, we're working with a project. So like Ron just said, you're going to identify a project, a creative project that you've already worked on. And you can see project just under here. Okay. As we work through the weeks, then we'll start to unpack and explore the different themes of sustainability and biculturalism. So, I was just talking about week one, and how week one, I was, yeah, week one is all about perspectives on sustainability and systems thinking, okay, and there is a theme that links week one for me and week one for Ron, and that theme is self-reflection, so we may be looking at different viewpoints or different theories, but the thing that really links us in the middle is self-reflection. Okay, we're going to invite you to mm. reflect on where you are now, your own perspectives, mm. perhaps your own biases towards certain things. Mm. And in week one for me, when I'm thinking about self in relation to this idea of place and of the project that we're thinking of, I'll be thinking about the concepts of place naming. Mm. About how these places get their names and what they actually say about our cultural construct. How they inform who we are as people. And in doing that, we'll be looking at some cultural philosophy. I'll uh, write this for you, Ron. <laughs> She thinks I can't write very well, and, and I can't, that's because I can't spell it, so if I write untidily, no one knows. Uh, but cultural philosophy and, and um, uh, ideas that go into explaining how we view culture and ourselves within a cultural construct. Uh, so in that first week, we'll be looking at place naming, cultural construct, and narrative. And when I'm talking about narrative, I'm talking about the discourse, the ideas, the stories, the words, the songs that inform who we are within place. And that'll be different for all of us. We'll all have a different way of understanding who we are within place. So essentially, when we're looking at ourselves from A, a cultural perspective, an identity perspective that I didn't write down here that Sarah's going to now, from a self-identity perspective, looking at place naming and cultural philosophy, looking at narratives and discourse, Sarah, at the same time, will be looking at practice. So place, identity and practice, and that meeting space in the middle there. And what are we going to be doing on the second week, Sarah? Yeah, so the second week, the theme that links us... <laughs> the theme that links us together in week two is called meeting the needs of others and again really important from a sustainability point of view and really important from a bicultural point of view and we can see those and look at those from our own individual lenses and perspectives so uh, for me this is really around social sustainability and how do people interact with 
the environment. So sometimes people think of sustainability as being only environmental, but it's much, much broader with that. And, and people are arguably a part of or connected to nature. And if we know that we're part of a system, then of course we're operating within the system of the environment. And so how do we meet the needs of so many different people and the way that they want to use resources and the equity and the equality and all these social uh, issues or interesting things or opportunities to look at in terms of how we can keep moving forward in the sustainability space. Mm. And how about you, Ron? Week two? Oh, week two, that sounds pretty uh, intense. I might just have a break. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> in week two. In week two. In week two, I'll be looking at uh, issues around cultural fields. So when we're looking at cultural fields, we'll unpack more of that later. But how we understand ourselves within a cultural sphere, how we understand our own identity, but then the identity of others. How we identify ourselves and how we, how we see others. And in particular, when we're, having, when we're looking at this idea of meeting others' needs, it's how we actually join those two uh, sets of cultural fields together to find the similarities and the differences with other people. Once we find the similarities and differences, it will give us uh, the opportunity and the tools to actually interrelate with other people from other cultural fields, from other cultural constructs. So those will be the two big things that I'll be looking at in week number two. Mm. And then week three is where we start to bring this all together. And we're looking at reflection, not so much self-reflection this time, but a reflection on all the theory and what this means for us and how that influences how we view the world and also how we take action in the world, how we interact now that we have a wider, broader viewpoint of a, from a cultural perspective and sustainability perspective. Mm. And we'll be doing that through revisiting this project that you would have brought in that first week. Mm. So revisiting that project, once again, going back to the example of the dish. I'll be reflecting on all the material that we've interacted with in the previous two weeks. I'll be thinking about uh, that as a transformation process, changing the way that I view sustainability, changing the way that I view my relationships, my cultural relationships with others. It'll be putting ourselves in a place that will be asking questions about identity, self and other, and also asking a question about the practice, practices that we put in place. So with that, in our last week, we will be looking, revisiting that project and asking that question of how do you see that project now? How do you see it differently from before, now that we've gone through this transformation process that asks questions about sustainability and about biculturalism? Mm, yeah, and in my experience, being able to see uh, a project or a perspective or something in life from both perspectives really enriches what is possible and what the output or the outcome ends up being. So, yes, I teach from a sustainability point of view and Ron teaches from a bicultural point of view, and the richness and the beauty is where these two meet and where we can start to hold both perspectives and then bring it into our own lives and understand what that means for us. And when we think about our own lives, we're thinking about the social lives that we live, about the political systems that we live in, we're thinking about the um, the economic and the ecological uh, world that we live in as well, and how that at once impacts upon us and how we actually, um, uh, how, how we practice or how we understand ourselves as a result of everything around us. Mm. So there's some pretty big things here, yeah. uh, some big questions to be asked, and we'll be doing it in a nice gentle way, um, like we said, through resources that will be on Moodle, um, through talking circles where we'll sit and we'll share information uh, cross-culturally with each other. We'll be looking at reflection. We'll be looking deeply into reflection. Mm. That idea of not just telling us what we've told you, but how you yeah. take that information on board, 
how it uh, how it how it changes your perspectives, if if at all. Um, but also looking at that through a transformation process, putting a line in the sand with a project you've worked on before, thinking, reflecting, discussing uh, with your peers, with others, with guest lecturers coming in, mm. and then reimagining that project on the other side with the information that you've got through these conversations. I think it's going to be a full on three weeks. Yeah, yeah, it is. And um, along with this, with your assessment process, we'll be offering you feedback along the way. So please make sure that you take on that feedback. And what we're really interested, is, interested in is your process through this. We're not so focused on on your project and, and how good that is. We are really interested in how has your perspective changed and how have you been able to reflect and critique your own perspectives and own experiences. So that can be a little bit of a, a flip on the assessment model when sometimes it's more about the output and your knowledge. We're really interested in your process and where you start and the process you go through to where you end up. Looking forward to it. Yes. Hope you guys are. Absolutely. We'll see you again soon.